Six up. Shaman, knee right. Sense in the right. Woos. Okay, everyone jump up. Good. Feet together. Bring back. Woos. Okay, let's get ourselves nice and warm. Okay, just in and out straight away. Good. Just the legs. So today we're going to work on our key hop. Okay, so we're going to work on using our body correctly and then moving on to some kicking techniques at the end. Okay, forward and back. Go. Nice. Good. Corners. So we'll keep the warm up nice and light. Okay, let's just jacks halfway. Let's go for 10 of these. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep the arms, change the legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's add the arms in. Forward and back for 10 as well. Come on. 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And legs back. Keep your back sides. Go. Good. Knees up. Good. Kick in. And twist. Okay. Full jacks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Forward and back. 10. Come on. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give me corners. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Legs back. Come on. Knees up. Kick in. Twist. Okay, yummy. Perfect. Hands on your hips. Heads over. Okay, left and right. Good. Half a roll. Okay, straight away, arms up. Arm circle forwards. Okay, arm circle back. Okay, both arms up. One arm forward, one arm back. And the other way. Good. And across your body. And twist. Nice. Good. Hip circle. And the other way. And knees. And squat down. Good. And push back. Good. And squat down. Good. From here, your left leg out. I'll go opposite. Straight away. Forward and back. Good. Circle the ankle. Circle the other way. Good. And change. Forward and back again. Circle the ankle one way. Good. Circle the other way. And change again. Okay. Hands either side. Lay your chest forwards. Okay. We need some my getting more washing away later. So get these hamstrings nice and stretched. And they change. Chest down again. Go. Hold it there. Three. Hold it there. Two. One. Okay, come in. Both feet flat this time. So use your forearm to try and push your knees apart. Try and close the gap between your heels. So as much as you can. Push your knees out to the side. Good. Okay. A little bit wider. Good. And a little bit wider into your shikadach. So like your horse stance. Bottoms down. Keep pushing your forearms out. Don't let your knees collapse. Push it out. Now rock over side to side. Not small rocks. Big. Good, 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 good. Okay, hold it there. Brilliant. Okay, and squat down all the way down. And slowly seat yourself back. Okay, shake your legs off. Okay, doesn't matter which one we do, left or right, grab one foot, tuck it up quite close to your groin. Okay, work on your toes being upright, knee being flat, hands either side. Try to bend from your forehead. Try and get your chin as far past your knee as possible. Ready, go. Hold it there. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Back straight and then straight away change. Other leg out, tuck it in quite close to your groin, knee flat, toes up, hands either side and hinge yourself, lay yourself forward. Ready? Go. Stretch down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, straight away, change again. Good. Take your bent leg, take it over and twist against. Try and keep your back straight. And relax. And change, other leg, up, over, twist. And relax, shake your legs off. Okay, hold the toes, pull them in tight to your groin, loosen up and down, hold your ankles, and push your knees flat to the ground. Go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold your toes and try and lay your chin in your chest down to your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold your toes, both legs out straight. If you can, try and pull them off the floor. Okay, so either you've got really short legs or really flexible hamstrings. Either way, it's perfect. Pull them off and loosen. Okay, fall onto your knees, back straight, squat, link your fingers. Okay, uh, don't go anywhere yet. Don't go anywhere yet. Okay, back straight. Push your hands above your head. Okay, so I'm still staying squatted. If you watch me from the side, I'm not tipping forwards. I try and have my arms behind my ears. So I'm stretching up, and then one powerful movement, drive up, go. Drive up, stretch as high as you can, feet flat, twist your left, to your right, and yeah, man. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go through. Feet together. Bring out. Oh, okay, so intermediate key on is kind of where we start having to use our hips and our body to go from an open body, her made, to like a closed body, which is called showmen. So we're going to work for a few minutes on that principle first, getting our bodies moving, kind of without our arms first of all, and then we'll add our arms. Okay, so everybody, hands on your hips. Okay, try and get your thumbs on the small of your back. So you're really trying to feel like you're pushing your hips forwards. Okay, back straight, feet one shoulder width apart, then from there. Now, I don't mind if you're left or your right leg, it makes no difference to me, but from here, one leg forwards, go. Okay, try and keep your hips though, nice and square. So what's gonna make your hips square is actually your opposite leg, your back leg. So if you watch me from the side here, if you relax your back leg, your back hip is naturally gonna turn away. I want us to feel like you're really pushing your back leg straight. So from here, you've got your left leg forward, maybe your right hand on your own top of your, uh, top of your bum, pushing that forwards. That feeling, okay? Keeping your body facing forwards, really digging in tight. Okay, try to lean back at the same time, try to lean forwards. This is your showman, okay? And when you're making your showman, from here, I would like you to feel like your knee, your front knee is pulling in to your back hip. So your front knee is pulling in this way and your back hip is pushing in this way and they're all coming together, okay? Everyone got that, perfect. Then we go to the opposite feeling, which is Han Mei, which is opening your body. Now, the common mistake is this. Everybody, when they turn their hip open, they try and keep their back leg straight. So if you watch me from here, People try and turn their hip and try and keep their back leg straight. And what happens is this hip kicks up. So I want everyone to turn your hip and watch me. Let your back leg just bend and soften. That's count number one. Ready? One. Okay? Then count number two. From here, I want to push that leg straight again. Ready? Two. Okay? So really simple way of doing it. But the key thing is to make sure your back leg is bending. Ready, one, bend that back leg. Ready, two, square the hip up. Okay, but today we wanna go big. 
So to make it ourselves bigger, we're going to add our arms. So everyone, hip square, and put your hands out to the, to the front like a spear. Okay, so my left leg and my left arm doesn't move. I open up my right hip and watch what happens. My arm goes with my hip. Ready, one. Good, good, good. Then I want to push my hip square and fire my arm together, two. So you're making a clap, but we're not going just clapping with our arm, we're clapping with our body. Ready, one, open our body. Good, so our hips turned. Ready, two, turn. Nice. So the hip opens the arm, one, good. And then the hip is going to push the arm, square, two. Okay, now some of you did this. Ready, one, this is great. And some of you did this, watch me. You went over here. Make sure that you're keeping your left arm and your left side tight. Ready? Everyone go back to the pointy bit. Ready? One, open up. Good. Now from here. So if you watch me from the side, I now want to go square. Ready? Two. Square. Nice. Ready? Watch me again. One, I open my body. So my hip is turned. 45 degrees. Ready, two, square it up, two. Perfect. Okay, one, open our body. Good. Ready, two, square it up, two. Perfect. Okay, from there, change your leg. So we're going to use both sides of our body today. So other leg forwards. Okay. So hips again going forwards. It's a bit like the other leg, you're pushing a trolley. Okay, you're pushing a trolley and it's really heavy. You're going to be pushing both hips into it. Okay, from here, let's point our fingers to the middle. Okay, so remember, bring your left leg forwards or your right leg forwards, that's the arm that stays forwards. Open our hip up, one. Let's make sure we're bending our back leg. Ready, two, square it up, two. Nice, ready, one, open it up, nice and big. Let me come and watch, ready, two. Fantastic, ready, one. Let your body open and your hand go. Ready, two, let your hip turn, take, yeah, nice. Ready, one, open. So my body's turned to the side. Ready, two, pop. push it forwards. Brilliant, ready, one. Good, ready, two, square. Nice, one, open. Ready, two, square. Good, one more time, ready, one, open. Turn that body, ready, two, square. Good, 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 one more time, ready, one, open. Ready, two, square. Okay, fantastic, and yame. Feet together, way bow us. So we're gonna add a little combination to that. And you've gotta get the timing right. So whenever we're making a block, we've gotta have that hip open in hand bay. And whenever we're making a punch, we've gotta make sure our hips close and show it. Okay? So, really key, high grades, use all the correct muscles, lower grades, I like to check your belt knot. If you're punching and your belt knot is going forwards, that's correct. Then if you're blocking and your belt knot is going to the corner, that's correct. For yellow, green and purple belts. Okay, here we go. Cross your hands. Enjoy. Okay, everyone for me, put your left leg forwards, groin block. Give me a loud ki -ai. Ready? Itch. Okay, so this is a block, so our hips are open. Our belt is turned to the side. Okay, here we go. Count number one on the spot, reverse punch. Ready, one. Good. Okay, so doing gap is a reverse punch. Now the hand which is out, just kick it up and open. So we're gonna prep for head block. Then on the spot, we're gonna make our head block, but making sure that our body is turning away. Ready, two. Nice. Then we're gonna reset. So we're gonna push our hips square and punch again. Ready, one. Nice. Now we're not going to move our body. Okay? So from the, yes Camille, this is the green belt. Okay, so do not panic. Ready? Turn your body square. Okay. Bottom hand inside. Turn your hip open and make inside block. Ready? One. Good. Drive that hip. Reverse punch. Two. Nice. From here, let your arm just open up, making your outside block prep. So we're not worried about the prep so much today. We're going to turn that hip. So turn that hip open. Ready, one. Good. Then we're going to drive the hip reverse punch. Square, two. Nice. 
We're going to make the prep for groin block. So keeping our body nice and square, prep for our groin block, okay? And we covered this in the Keon Kappa lesson. Make sure there's no gap between your elbows. So from here, open your hip and block. Ready, one, good. Rotate your hip, reverse punch your key eye. Ready, two, get That's our combination, okay? Now, because we're all quite senior grades, watch this. Bring your front foot back, change legs and block down. Itch. Nice. Okay. On the spot, number one, reverse punch. One. Good. Hip square in showman. Now the hand which is out, prep up. Good. Then we're going to open our body to make head block. Ready? One. Good. We're going to close our body to make reverse punch. Two. Good. We're going to use the hand on our hip to go across our body without moving our hip. Then we're going to use our hip to make inside block. Ready? One. Good. Then we're going to make reverse punch. Ready? Two. Square. Good. Then we're going to have the hand on our hip. It's just going to float up. We're going to rotate our body and make the soft to outside block. Ready? One. Good. Then we're going to rotate and make reverse punch. Ready? Two. Good. Last prep. Groin block. So we're going to prep with the hand on the hip. One. Elbows are down. We're going to open our body and make groin block. Ready? One. Good. We're going to close our body and make reverse punch and key eye. Ready? Two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. That's pretty good. So remember, if you're a yellow, green, purple, purple and white belt, two things are important. The order of the blocks, head block, inside block, outside block and groin block. Okay. And also, making sure we don't do a reverse block and a front punch. And then we don't do a reverse block and a front punch. So every punch must be on the reverse side, every block, same arm and leg. Okay, let's do it again. This time, I'm gonna change my angle slightly. Can you see my hips? Yoink! Okay, everyone, left leg forwards, go on and key eye. Itch! Yeah! Perfect. So my body's open, my hip and tail is wrapped round. Okay, count number one, Drive the back head and hip in, reverse punch, ready, one. Nice, okay. From here, front hand goes up. Head block, one. Good, rotate, reverse punch, two. Good, bottom hand slides across. One, chucky, one. From here, look at my hip. My hip is pointing to you, so I'm uh, 45 degrees to you guys. Then I'm gonna drive my hip square, reverse punch, ready, two. Nice. Then I'm going to prep with my left hand for outside block. Ready? One. Good. Then we're going to make reverse punch. Ready? Two. Good. From here, we're going to prep for our groin block. Ready? Open our body. One. Good. Then we're going to make reverse punch in key eye. Ready? Two. Yeah. Okay. Now from here, remember how to switch your legs? Bring your foot back. Drop your foot forwards. Okay. So from here now, you your other leg forwards. On the spot, groin block. So we're gonna make reverse punch of our back hip. This is this feeling, the turning our hip square feeling. Ready, one, gap is a key. Perfect. Prep, and your key, two. Ready, gap is a key, itch. Prep, oh, your key, knee. Ready, reverse punch, ready, itch. Good, prep, soft your knee. Nice, ready? So I can see myself in the camera, same as you guys. All I'm watching is my belt. I'm making sure my belt is turning every time. Then I'm gonna make reverse punch. Ready, one, good. Then I'm gonna prep my groin block. Ready, two. From here, reverse punch in key eye, ready, three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, man. Okay, be together, that was. So now, we're gonna link some bits together. So we're not going to do a prep as one count, then a block as a second count. We're going to make the prep and the block one smooth count, and then make the reverse punch the second count. You'll see what I mean, trust me. Yoink! Okay, everyone. Left leg forwards, groin block, key eye. Itch! Yeah! Okay, let's start with reverse punch. Itch! Okay, so now it goes. Watch me. One count goes prep block. One. Second count goes reverse punch. Two. Next count, 
watch me. Goes triple block. One. Good. Reverse punch. Two. Good. But I still complete the prep. So slow motion would still see me complete the prep. Ready? One. Good. Reverse punch. Two. Good. Complete the prep. Block. One. Good. Reverse punch and key. Ready? Two. Yeah. Okay. From there, change your arms and legs. Go. Make a reverse punch. So we've got this now. So one count is the feeling of prep block. One. Reverse punch. Two. Let me come and watch. Next count is prep and block. One. Inside block. Reverse punch. Two. Good. Prep and block. One. Reverse punch. Two. Good. Prep and block. One. Good. Reverse punch and key out. Two. Yeah. Okay, yeah, man. Okay, and the last part of the puzzle is doing all of those moves as one count, okay? So not eight moves in a row, pairing them up. So are you ready? Then we look at our back kick. Yoink! Okay, left leg forward, scroll, rock and key out. Yes, yes. Okay, on the spot, reverse punch, one. So watch me, count number one goes, prep, block, punch. Ready, one. Count number two goes prep, block, punch. Two. Good. Count number three goes prep, block, punch. Three. Good. Count number four goes prep, block, punch. Four. Count number five, change your arms and legs. Go. On the spot, punch. Here we go, last set. Prep, block, and punch. One. Prep, block, punch. Ready? Two. Prep, block, punch. Ready? Three. Prep, block, punch. Good. Then last one. Ready? Four. Prep, block, punch here. Hey, Yame. Feet together. Bowels. Okay, shrug your legs off. Everyone nice and warm. So prepping your block is like getting the ingredients ready for making a cake. So if you're going to make a cake, you get all your ingredients measured out, then put it together, and you kind of always going to get the correct cake. So if you always prep your outside block correctly, then we're going to make sure that we prep... <coughs> We're going to make sure that we prep and we make the outside block correct. Okay, two seconds. Everyone okay there? Ready? Good, good, good. That's it. Try to touch the buttons, guys. That's it. If your name's Camille, please try and leave your, uh, your buttons alone on your screen. Is that okay, Camille? Good boy. That's it. Okay. So, what I was just saying was, fully make the prep, then make the block. Okay. Let's warm my legs up. Everyone, turn to the side slightly. Okay, back nice and straight. Ever so simple. Count number one, I want you to heel to your backside. Ready, one. Yeah, okay, so you're doing it wrong already. Okay, ready? Now, every time I count, change your arm and leg. Ready, one. So change your leg. Ready, two. Change your leg. Ready, one. Change your leg. Ready, two. Change your leg. Okay, let's straight away spot the mistakes. So, this is the prep for a back kick. And again, we use that word prep. So, when we're making a back kick, we want to kick directly over our shoulder. Some of you are prepping your back kick by bringing your knee forwards and picking your heel up. It might not be that big, it might only look like this. But your knee mustn't come forwards. So your knee has to stay in the same place, then kick your heel back. See the difference? This is correct. Heel straight back, this is incorrect. Heel back, but knee forwards. Show me some correct ones. Ready, one. Good. Ready, two. Good. Ready, three. Perfect. Four. Nice. Ready, five. Good, get that feeling. Ready, six. Good. Seven. Brilliant. Eight. Good. Nine. Okay, ready, ten. Okay, so from here, everyone, try and do this. Try and bring knees together as well, okay? Let's do another five of those each leg. Try and have your knees squeezed together. Also from there, try not to, every time you pick your heel up, feel like you're gonna rock forwards. If anything, you're gonna feel like you're going the same way as your heel almost. Okay, here we go. Number five more on each leg. Ready, one, good, squeeze together, two. <clears throat> Good. Three. Good. Four. Good. I feel like you're going to heal your backside. Five. 
Heel that backside in. Six. Good. Seven. Great. Eight. Heel that backside. Ready? Nine. Good. Ready? Ten. Yes. Perfect. Okay. From here now, do not skip the prep. So do not skip that stage. And then from here, I'm going to fire out, back kick, and down. Feel like you're hitting your backside. Fire the back kick and down. Here we go. Ready? Okay, good. Let's show you five of those. Ready? One. Good. Okay. Two. Yeah, I see a couple of things sneaking in. Ready? Three. Mm, good. Four. Keep changing your leg every time. Five. Good. Keep changing. Six. Nice. Seven. Good. Eight. Keep thrusting. Nine. Okay, give me a loud key eye. Ready? Ten. Okay, let's talk about a couple of mistakes we're making. Mistake number one is we're still picking our knee forwards and then we're going back. Okay, it's like doing a front kick like this. It's like doing a front kick going back and then kicking forwards. Back kick is straight over our shoulder. Okay, speaking of straight over our shoulder, lots of you are looking directly forwards. So when you're looking forwards, you're kind of not committing to the kick because we're still going this way. So every time we kick, just have a look over the kicking shoulder. So to test that, I want you all to turn your back to me. Go. Everyone turn your back to me. Yeah, you can still hear me. Okay, now when you kick, I want you to make sure that you can see me and then return the kick back. So everyone, onto the back of your heads. So do back kick. Ready? One. Good, that includes you, Lena. Ready, two. But you must have a little glance at me every time you kick. Ready, three. Good, ready, four. Try and get the glance at the same time as the kick. Five. Good. Six, look, kick. Seven. Good. Eight. Good. Nine. Good. Give me a loud key eye. Ready, ten. Okay, very nice. Now, lots of you are doing part one and part two really well, but we're kind of neglecting part three. And part three is the recovery. So make sure from here we go kicking our backside, we thrust recover, and then straight back down. Okay? Don't swing your leg, and don't, after this, just drop it down. Ready? Okay, here we go again. Camille, you have to stop touching your screen, I'm afraid, please. Okay, ready? Okay, everyone, guard up. Okay, everyone, have your back to me. So, kick, look, and recover. Ready, one. Good. Ready, two. Nice, change your legs every time. Three. Good. Four. Good, now give you a loud key out. Ready, five, key out. Perfect, okay, yeah man. So basically, that is the kick. That's the kick, okay? So to make it even more complex, we add a turn. We do not add a, a, a spin or a rotation, we add a turn. So everyone, yoi. Everyone from there, left leg forwards, run, inch. Great, okay, guard up. Okay, so count number one. Feel like your knees are quite far apart at the moment. And we're going to get our knees as quickly together as possible. Okay? So watch from the side. All we're going to do is squeeze our knees together and put them back. Ready? One. Good. Ready? Two. Squeeze in and back. Ready? Three. Squeeze in and back. But as we're making the squeeze, watch what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my foot as far around as possible early on. Yeah, that's hard to do. I'm not turning, watch. I'm not turning my base foot. I'm just squeezing this leg and putting it back. Okay, let's do that five times. Ready, one, squeeze and back. Ready, two, squeeze and back. Ready, three, squeeze and back. Good, four, squeeze and back. Good, ready, five, squeeze and back. Okay, change legs. Some of you have really got it. Okay, other leg, here we go, guard up. Back leg, ready, one, squeeze in and back. Ready, two, squeeze and back. 
Three. Squeeze them back. Try not to turn your front foot too much yet. Ready? Four. Squeeze them back. Perfect. Ready? Five. Squeeze and back. Okay, change legs. So this time, we're going to do it three counts. Count number one, squeeze and back. Count number two, squeeze and back. Count number three, kick and fire. Boss? Okay, here we go. Ready? Guard up. Left or right leg, doesn't matter. Squeeze them back. Ready? One. Squeeze them back. Ready? Two. Squeeze them back. Now we're going to squeeze, turn, and fire the kick out. Ready? Three. Squeeze, turn, fire, and forwards. Okay, that's not too bad. Shuffle back. So you now have your other leg forward, your right leg forward. Let's see what you're looking like. Ready? Squeeze them back. Ready? One. Good. Ready? Two. Good. Now we're going to make sure we do the squeeze, that's the prep, then the fire, then the recovery. Ready, ki, three, ki. Nice. Okay. Ready, guard up. And the last bit is no squeezing back. So have the feeling of squeezing back, but rather than going back, we're going to squeeze to here, make our rotation, there's our position, kick and then land down. Okay, here we go. Guard up. So in other words, show me your best back kick. Ready, one. Good, just do the whole kick. Ready, change legs. Other leg. Ready, two. Good, change legs. Some of you are still missing this squeeze, and some of you are just turning the foot. Good, okay. Ready, guard up. One more time. Squeeze back and fire. Ready, go, kia! Okay, piyame. Okay, feet together, bowels. So, we're going to finish the lesson, but do not go anywhere. I want to have a little chat to you all at the end, okay? Everyone, feet together. Seja. Close your eyes. Mozo. Mozo yami. Shomen nirui. Good. Sensei nirui. And one for everyone else. Otikami nirui. Woos.